Hello, I'm Craig and this is Faith. <laughs> We're doing a video. This is Molly. Hello, Molly, Molly. And boo. Because I need a hair tie. Right. Hang on, I need a hair tie. Oh, no, we're doing stop. that. No, stop. <laughs> Faith, Faith is going to go first. I'm Craig, and this is Faith. I'm Faith. And this is Molly. One, two, Molly, Dolly. She's asleep. Molly, and this is. <laughs> grumpy Boo. She's not usually grumpy. Are you Boo? It's because it's raining. We can't go for a walk. Anything else. So we thought, well, we'll start off with our trip. So, a few months ago. Like, six months ago? Yeah. We thought it would be a good idea to buy a catamaran. Yeehaw! Never yeah. sailed before. <laughs> and travel Australia, <laughs> or the east coast of Australia. We thought we would put a manager on. Um, and in our business, rent our house out. And sell around. And... Then we've done some homework, and buying a catamaran is really expensive. A mono hole we looked at, but with the dogs, it's not fair for them, you're on the lean and all that sort of stuff. So we thought, well, alright, we're going to buy a motorhome. <laughs> No, but catamarans are really expensive too. And the maintenance and on the it. Maintenance yeah. And the maintenance and insurance and plus we had zero sailing experience. Plus, I don't like doing five knots. It's no, really who slow. doesn't like the slow pace? I like fast. Fast. Fast and furious. Yeah. It's his favourite movie. Don't anyway. hold that against us. <laughs> He's seen them all. Lots. Okay, so then what did we do? So we bought a motorhome. We uh, done a bit of research and we're going to buy an older one. And the time we paid for the extra fuel and problems and all that sort of stuff, we thought we'd buy a new one. Well, second hand new. More or less new. It had 6,000 Ks on the clock. Um, 2021. Yep. Jayco Conquest. Um, we're sitting in it right now because it's pouring rain outside. Um, and so we've had caravans before. We thought we just wanted easy, easy setup and go sort of scenario rather than. We've got spinning. our e bikes that we use in the back, so we, we're not stuck in one spot. We, we use them a lot. Yeah. Um, we've got a couple of, uh, we'll show you later on in a nicer day. But we've got a, a spot for the dogs to sit on the carrier on the front, and um, yeah, so it's good fun. So, this is the first part of our trip was, oh, actually, we um, rented the house out We uh, 10 days ago, nearly a week, uh, two weeks ago. I think the ago. tenants move in today, actually. So, we oh, rented yeah. the house out for a year. So, the plan is to travel around for a year. Um, we haven't really made an itinerary. We just sort of, the first few days, we sort of knew where we were going. Plus um, the weather, we've had to... It, and now we sort of stop because of the weather and it's miserable and uh, certain places around New South Wales are flooding and Victoria's flooding um, so we're just sitting today and tomorrow at a campground which is on really wet and we can't go anywhere so it's not too bad but <clears throat> we're inside so we've been on the road for around 10 days now um, and okay so we've been you already said that so. oh did I okay so we left uh, the Gold Coast on the 14th, uh, we headed for, we thought we'd go inland because we've already done a bit of the coast down, we're going south, so we're going anti-clockwise. Um, took people, a while to learn that. Anti-clockwise, <laughs> not clockwise, anti. Um, so yeah, we decided to do inland a little bit and then head towards the coast. So first stop was Moree, which was a six and a half hour drive. Yep. Six and a half hour drive. <clears throat> um, so you go up past Toowoomba, Gatton, that sort of area, and then inland. Um, Moree's really nice, it's just a little town. Um, the campground that we stayed in had its own thermal pool. I think it was hot like springs, 30, yeah. yeah, thermal. 39, hot. the hottest one. Yeah, they range in to temperature. 30, I think. 28. Yeah. Um, I think it was like 36 bucks a night, and that includes the hot pools, and you could go in and out as many times as you like. But it was kind of like an episode of Cocoon. Watch Cocoon and you'll know what I mean. I am younger. Yeah. We went in there at like 90 and we came out 30. And there was lots of other people pissed in it too. Okay, so Maury, <laughs> what else is good? Oh, the um, tavern. There's a tavern down the road <clears throat> that you can just walk to. 
uh, Maru Tavern, and it's got a cool plane out the front. Um, you can hop inside it. You can hop fly inside it. it and well, pretend to really fly, fly it. it. Craig pretended to crash it. Crash and burn. <clears throat> um, and the meals are really nice. Yep. Oh, dog friendly. So everywhere we go is we try and do dog, dog friendly. friendly. And you've also got to remember, there's New, uh, New South Wales has daylight savings, which we forgot about because oh, yeah, we're in we Queensland. Did too. So. We forgot we were an hour ahead. Was that like for two days? We yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Good fun. Yeah, anyway. Uh, next stop was Dubbo. Dubbo? Yep. Dubbo. And oh, cool zoo. Yeah, cool zoo. Western Plains Zoo. We're not really into zoos, but um, we parked up to some neighbours and they. You're yeah, ripping the table. Take your arms off it. Um, so the zoo, we took our e-bikes and went straight round, and it was awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, never been to a zoo where you can actually drive around it and right bike around it, yeah. it, and I wouldn't want to walk around it because it's. Quite... They have golf buggies you can yeah. hire. There's all sorts, and it's, pretty but nice. it's, it's really well done. Yeah, and then they're not in a small enclosure and look like they're yeah they look happy props you know so it was it was really good yeah um, rustic great and you buy a ticket and it can last you for two days we only we only needed a day we didn't really need it any longer we sort of zoomed around on the e-bikes which was awesome probably uh, take a packed lunch because yeah, take a lunch. there's the cafe there there's not a lot so yeah we packed some sandwiches and apple and yeah happy days Next stop was Orange. Um, we stayed at the showgrounds there. It was free, so we stayed there a couple of nights. Beautiful old town. Just just really nice, real nice people. Had a really nice feed at the local pub. Yeah, um, easy to bike around. Yeah. Really nice buildings, architecture. Um, yeah, it was just cruisy, wasn't it? Just, hmm. yeah. it was. um, then we went to Bathurst. Yeah, yeah. that's fast and furious. <laughs> Took the moho through her paces, did the track, um, got a video of that, so I might put that up sometime. Yep, that's uh, cool. This is me sort of squealing, and the moho tyres were almost squealing, I think. She's um, okay on two wheels. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, I really enjoyed Bathurst. It's cool. Hmm. The town itself oh, the is pretty old. Nice too. It's pretty yeah. old, but um, it, it's nice, mm -hmm. like it's clean, tidy. Yeah. Hmm. Then we went to Cowra, um, little town, one street sort of town, and Japanese gardens are very popular there. Everyone goes there for that, which are beautiful, um, really well maintained little bit. Okay, we're back. We had a little phone call, and uh, you know, always have a little few work dramas when you're starting off, so all good. Anyway, uh, we were at Kara, so the Japanese gardens, awesome. Go there, check it out. It doesn't take long to go around. Um, beautiful. And then we went to. Oh, did you know there's a prisoner of war camp there? The biggest one in Australia. Was. Didn't, didn't know we had prisoner of war camps. So go check that out. That was cool. Who was there? Japs? Italians? I didn't say Japs. I oh, can't say Japs. No, that's not P Q. Oh, okay. Japanese. Japanese. Okay. And uh, Japanese, Italians? Italian, and some Asian, I think. Hmm. Is that PC? Asian's all right, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next step. Next, we went to Juni. Never heard of Juni before. Had a friend there. Um, She's still alive. She, <laughs> yeah, we've got a friend there. Sorry. <laughs> And she has her own hotel slash accommodation slash restaurant. Um, Very cool loftus. food. So um, stop in there if you want amazing waffles. Ice cream. Ice cream. She and makes a real uh, real uh, waffles. Just real yeah, yeah. Homemade waffles with toppings on. So you can get sweet ones or savoury ones. Junie. Next was Canberra. Never been there. Uh, wasn't as cold as I thought. Which I guess I is the time of the year. Yeah, it's a nice city, nice and flat for the majority. Um, we sort of stealth camped there. We didn't went to Parliament any... House. We oh, went to the Mint, and then we had some camping. Went to the markets afterwards. Had some nice food along the uh, water edge. It was awesome. You didn't tell them about the camping. Oh, yeah. We did free camping in a car park. Yeah, man, it was cool. 
Uh, next one, Goulburn. We just popped in there to get a silly photo with the big merino ram thing. Craig got a back end photo, I got a front end photo. Big balls. 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 <laughs> then Craig's parents recommended the Sea Cliff Bridge. You must go see it. So we went out of our way, kind of, because we weren't going to come back up this far. We were going to cut across and probably go to Batemans Bay, but we've decided to go to Sea Cliff bridge instead. Not sure if it was a good decision or not. It was a um, great decision. Fog, rain. It was the scariest ride of my life. Like, it was so foggy and the roads were like this we, and then like this. We'll put another video like on this. later on. But it doesn't show the roads how steep they were and it was a, like a highway. I don't even know what the highway was called. And fog. We had hazard lights on. Any, it's like anyway. an episode of Forty Towers, really. The Sea Cliff Bridge it's worth it's going cool. to. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't pull over and park the moho because everyone else had parks along that street and there's nowhere to park. And it's just yeah, when you come into the town, parks, yeah. yeah, when you come into the town, also it's like this. So we were going to stay at the local um, caravan yeah. park there, but there's no pets and yeah. they weren't very friendly. So we they were actually closed and it was like three o'clock in the afternoon. Weird. Yeah. Anyway, Real weird. so we ended up coming out a few suburbs down and we're in Coromel Beach at the moment. Um, pouring rain, beautiful beach over there, Wollongong's just over there. It was raining so heavy before I couldn't <clears throat> see the next campsite over. That's how heavy it was this morning. Yeah. So we stayed an extra night. And that's for you guys! Yay! Yay! You're so lucky! <laughs> Anywho, off, um, what are your, are we going to talk about what we've learnt? Are we so doing this, this video? Oh, okay. Oh. Potholes. Love potholes. Potholes suck. Be careful. Like, Especially with all the rain at the moment, there's heaps of potholes. Just drive to the conditions because motorhomes don't stop very quickly. We've got Michelin tyres on here and so far so good Michelin rocks. But we just slow down a little bit. You want to sponsor us, Michelin? Go for it. <laughs> we, we, um, yeah, no, we, we just drive to the conditions, let cars pass if they needed to, but we don't try and hold up the traffic. It's just when the potholes there, we slow down and, and go around them if we can. And a lot of the time, Google Maps took us on these back roads, and then we learnt that we can move the little mappy thing over to the main highway, and the it's main the highway. The mappy thing. The mappy thing. <laughs> Is probably the way to go if you're in a, you know, if you want to get there and without wrecking your tyres at the moment. Um, gravel roads. We went to go to these caves in Dubbo, was it? Yes. And I can't remember the name of the caves, but no warning whatsoever. We drove in, it was like a little wee tiny goat track, and we. So it's off in the main road, and then you go down into nothing, and it's and went, steep. Down like this, and, and they just re graveled it so it wasn't easy. And it looked like it kept going down, and there was no warning saying no motorhomes, four wheel drive only, nothing like nothing in anything I read, nothing on any signage. So we started driving down there, and then we both looked at each other going, We've got to turn around. And there was this tiny little place to turn around, so you had to nose it in, and it was gravel loose gravel. You just know, been... we're in a how many ton van? Front wheel drive, <laughs> front wheel drive van. And then no, Craig nosed it in nosed it or oh, reversed it out really quickly managed to do that but then we're facing this way so he had, he had, i jumped in and we just fingers crossed floor to pedal to the floor was it to the floor no. uh, and we made it up it but was pretty right. he was shaking i was shaking so just if you're unsure get out check out the road first because you don't want to go down there and not be able to get out Especially Even if your wife says, Hey, why? There's nothing saying anything. <laughs> well, there wasn't. <laughs> um, so, fuel. Uh, oh, yeah, fuel. We've, we've got AdBlue, so uh, you just got a, we've got a little um, canister. canister now, yeah, just, just, a, From just a litre. Um, so, because look, some service stations either mm -hmm. don't have it or have run out, we've found, so we've just Filling up a bottle and yeah, uh, just making sure that we've got some. And Ad Blue makes the diesel last longer and it burns cleaner. Is that correct? Yeah. You either got it or you don't. 
<laughs> so, um, yeah. Girls don't know what ad blue is. Oh, now you do, girls. Okay, thank you for that. <laughs> uh, and the fuel at the moment is anywhere from diesel is going anywhere from two dollars twenty-five to two dollars forty, roughly, <clears throat> depending on where you can find it, where you go. Also, ad blue is anywhere from a dollar to four dollars. Yeah. A litre, which is ridiculous. Yeah. One place we pulled into, I started filling it up, and I stopped. And I went. I'm not the diesel was $4. cheap, er, but the Ad Blue was dearer. So, be careful. Mm. Uh, what are we doing next, Craig? Where are we no, going? No idea. There's <laughs> no idea. I'm just the driver. Um, Shell Harbour area, which yep. isn't too far from here. You might go see a plane museum. There's a lake Beaches. as well, Lake Illawarra. Um, nice beaches there. Nice beaches. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Can't wait. All right. We're signing like off now. Thank Moho you. Moho Mafia. Follow us on Insta, YouTube, Facebook. Subscribe and like. Are we on all that? Do you know how to work those things? Hell no. no I <laughs> I've just figured out Messenger. <laughs> he doesn't like Messenger. I'm in like this group chat and he doesn't have notifications on because it drives him nuts. I sent a message once and it ended up on, what's that video I sent? Ended up on Facebook. Yeah. You weren't supposed to put it out there. I did it. Thanks. <laughs> it was me in a bikini. It wasn't supposed to go live. Anywho. Out there. No one can take it away. <laughs> Alright, thanks very much. Bye. Remember, Faith. hashtag. Craig. You don't even know what a hashtag does. No, but you told me you had to say it. <laughs> Hashtag Moho Mafia. That's us. Bye from us and Biddy and Boo. Biddy and Boo. That's one. <laughs> and Molly. Biddy Boo is one dog. <laughs> Molly is the other dog. Alright, see you later. He doesn't even know his own children. Bye. Check out the fog. These roads are... It's only 1.38. <laughs> <laughs> These roads are insane. It's like up and down, like the steepest hills you've ever seen, and it's a highway. And now you're adding fog to the mix. Yeah, baby. We should have bought a catamaran. Would have been safer. Say to your mum and dad, Craig. Right what here. the hell have you done to us? We this is lunchtime. Uh, going to the sea bridge. Yeah, we decided to go to the sea bridge today, but I don't think we're going to see anything. Whoa. I See that sign come out of nowhere? Oh my gosh. There is no visibility. Everyone's got their heads and lights on. Look. Okay. Make too long to Oh, look at that. Put your window wipers on. Woohoo! How cool is this? Awesome. Holy shit. This is freaky. In 400 meters, your destination will be on the left. It's hard to... See it. There you go. Woohoo! We're out over the cliff. Hello. We're at the pool. Love it. They're pretty cool. I was 80, now I'm only 49. Yep. I was 90, now I'm. 35. <laughs>